Hello, this is Matt and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about my favorite point and shoot camera, the Ricoh GR3. It took me three days to get enough photos to show you in this video and I still think I got a small amount of photos. You know, I'm not the most prolific photographer. So the first day I went to Soho and I wasn't inspired at all. So not one good photo came out of this day. The next day we walked through the city and it was much better. I took some interesting photo, I think. And then we went to Borough Market to bury some French cheese because yes, I miss my French food a lot. The third day I decided to take my GoPro so my girlfriend Chloe didn't have to carry my camera and film me. I decided to go to Whitechapel because I never been there and I wanted to see the Jack the Ripper and Elephant Man neighborhood. that we went to Shoreditch and I found these beautiful murals and I don't know why but I was touched by the one in the middle. Then we took the direction of um, Tower Bridge and Shad Thames.
I took this photo I love at Lane. I really like the contrast between the old English architecture and the new one just in the background. Then we took a little break at Starbucks. You will say, who eats lunch at Starbucks and no coffee? Me. But it was definitely the last time because it was disgusting. specs and user experience. So let's begin. This has a 24 megapixel sensor with um, three axis image stabilization, which is very nice for low shutter speed images. The lens is 18.3 millimeters. It's equivalent to 28 millimeter in full frame. It's wide angle. In my opinion, it's a bit too wide, but it depends on how you shoot and your style of shooting. Me, I, I prefer 35 or 50 millimeters because with 28, you have too much happening at the same time in the frame or you, you have to get closer to the subject to have a really good photo. Maybe 28 could be good if you like some landscapes, cityscapes or architecture photos. I now have the Ricoh for more than one year and I still have this little camera. I think it's the camera that you carry with you when you don't want to carry a camera. That's the point. Because it's smaller than my phone, smaller than my wallet and definitely smaller than my d The big downside of this camera is the battery life. Obviously the battery life is not so good because it's a small camera and very small batteries and the problem is that sometimes you have to shut off the camera when you don't take photos and if you are in street photography like me sometimes something is happening to you and the time that you switch on the camera the thing is gone so it could be a problem also you can customize your little rico and change the little ring like i did if you like to waste your money on pointless thing like me <laughs> I got a little story about I almost owned a Ricoh film camera because I want one so bad but they are so expensive. My dad bought one in the 90s, so 30 years ago. I wasn't born. And he went to Mauritius with my mother for the first time and when he arrived at the Mauritius airport somebody stole it from him. So he didn't take one photos with it. And yeah, that's how I almost owned a Ricoh film camera. Maybe one day I will buy one, but I have to buy, you know, some Leica stuff. That's all that stuff. And I have to survive the inflation. <coughs> I think that's it. It was my review of the Ricoh Jar 3. And if you want to know more about this camera, I recommend you to check out the um, Samuel L. Street Life channel and I explore, they go in details how to use the functionalities and stuff and the record your channel. 
Thank you for watching. I hope that you liked the video and that you will subscribe to my channel. And just to finish, I recently grabbed this book, the Magnum Streetwise book. I really recommend you to buy this book if you are into street photography because there are a lot of very famous street photographers that you can discover in this book. And my two favorite street photographers now, I discovered them thanks to this book, is Sergio Larraine um, with black and white photography and Alex Webb with color photography. Dr. Zayas, 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 Dr. Zayas,